What's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you take your cell phone like this and use it as a webcam like this on your Xbox console. Now there are a couple caveats I wanna mention right before we get in the video, because honestly, you don't need to buy the cables if you haven't already have them. Now the reason why I'm saying that is because you do need to buy two different cables to make this work. And about the time you spend the money on the cables, you could have bought a little webcam for 40 or 50 bucks. So just keep that in mind. Um, this is more or less for the person that already has these cables sitting around the house and they just don't have a webcam or they wanna try their cell phone out as a webcam. Other caveat I forgot to mention, I don't know if this works on iPhone. I know this works on Android. I don't have an iPhone to test it. If you have an iPhone and you wanna test it, drop the comment below after you test it. I would assume it would work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Got still got Filmic Pro on iPhone. All right guys, comment of the week comes in from high top job. Joke, gop, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, me and a Walmart employee just watched this video in the gaming aisle. What? Listen, that is pretty awesome. Good looking out, going into Walmart, spreading the joy and the love of Pew's review right there in the gaming aisle and having an employee come over and watch with you. Hey, big shout out, appreciate you. If you wanna be featured in a comment of the week, drop a comment. It could be anything from funny to picking on me even to saying something just random and off the wall about Star Wars or some anime or it doesn't matter as long as it's clean and you're not a jerk. So as I mentioned before, if you don't have a webcam and you have cables and stuff and you don't want to buy a webcam, then you can use these cables that I have right here in my hand. And these cables I have in my hand are simple. One is going to be a USB type A. If it has an adapter from C to A, it's fine. To an HDMI female, as you can see here. And the other one is a USB type C. See if I can get that in a shot. To HDMI. And if you haven't told, you'll plug this into your phone. You'll plug this into here, like so. And you plug this into your Xbox. As simple as that, right? Other things you're gonna need for this to work is Filmic Pro downloaded to your phone itself. This is a free app to download. It is paid subscription, but you don't need the paid subscription to do what we're gonna do. We're gonna use it typically only for HDMI clean, clean HDMI out, whatever. The only caveat with this system using Filmic Pro and all that is the white balance for coloring is off. You have to kind of mess with it and play with it. It's not the typical where you would typically set it. Like if I had one of my white lights on me is what we call them or whatever, sunshine or whatever the freak it's called. It would be like 50, 5,600 Kelvins, but I can't put it at that because I look like an orange man. So I had to play with it until I got it kind of right. The good thing is once you have this right, you'll be good to go and you don't have to set it again because it pretty much just saves when you close the app and you can just open it and it'll be good to go. But with all that being said, all right, so you're gonna go to your Android app or you know your phone and download Filmic Pro. Uh, I'll just show you guys real quick. Go to the, what you call it and type in Filmic Pro, it'll come up. This is the app you'll download, the red one, right here, the second one, not the first one. And then you'd open it once you have it downloaded. All right, simple as that. From here, there's all kinds of things you can do to mess with this app. I'm gonna show you a couple of those things and then I'm gonna show you what you need to do and you can play with it and figure it out on your own from there. I'm not a professional when it comes to this app. I don't use this app all the time. I'm literally legitimately making this video to help you guys out because I heard someone say, they want to know if they can use a phone on your Xbox as a webcam. You can't. Telling you how to do it right now. So once you have Filmic Pro downloaded and all that jazz, you're gonna plug up your you're gonna go, you're gonna go to your go to live screen and on your Xbox and whatever. Go ahead and plug everything up. You'll see it pop up. You can go to your webcam and turn it on. You'll turn this on. When you plug everything up, I know for the Samsung, anyways, it does it for me. I have the Dex mode come up and I'll show you guys real quick what that looks like. So if you come here, Dex mode, that's right there. That pops up and it turns on automatically. What I did was just turn it off. Once I clicked off, it turned off. And what happens is my phone just mirrored to my Xbox as the webcam itself. Then from there, you can go and set your camera up. I thought it was gonna be as easy as going to my native camera and just turn it on, but there's no clean HDMI option in your native camera. There are other apps and stuff you can download, but I figured I would just use this app because it was just it seemed simple to use. So, anyways, once you turn your once you turn Dex off, you're gonna go back. You're gonna go back into Filmic Pro. Once you're in Filmic Pro, you'll see automatically it should pop up on your screen. But you should see more than likely lines and whatever you see here. 
will be on your your webcam and stuff on Xbox. To get rid of that, we're gonna do that real quick. That's the simple, that's what we're here for, is the gear icon top left corner. You're gonna click on it, go to hardware, which is all the way to the right, and then you're just gonna see clean HDMI. You're gonna just click 1080. My dogs are barking. 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 Anyways, yeah, so you don't have 4K. You don't have 4K output on this, unfortunately. Dogs are still barking. So you don't have 4K output on this, unfortunately. You do have the 1080, which you, you know, you, it, it's, it's, it's fine. It's pretty much what everybody's gonna be seeing anyways. It's just your camera itself. So it is what it is. Okay, once you're done with that, this is where the caveat, I mean, if you already got this set up and stuff, you're, you're looking on your Xbox and you're like, bro, what is up with these colors right now? Like, holy moly. Yeah, I know, right? You look like the orange man. Uh, anyways, so what you're going to do from here is you're going to come down here to the bottom left hand corner. You're going to see a little, it's like a little rainbow little thing. You're going to click on that. What that's going to do is bring up your white balance. As you can see here, I'm just going to kind of show, oh, I don't need to show you. You can see it on the screen because, okay, yeah. You see it on the screen kind of where I have it set up. Now, this is just how I was able to kind of, I didn't spend like too, too, too much time trying to precisely set it up. I got it where it looked okay. And I was like, all right, it looks good enough. Let's go. So you would just need to go through here and set this up as best as possible to which you want it to. Again, once you have it set up, once you set all this stuff up, it should save in the app. So anytime you go to stream or whatever, you could be good to go there. But you would mess with, you can either, you can mess with the temps right here like so, and you can mess with the tint as well. So you see vertical and versus horizontal. And that, you know, that's kind of how that works. You can mess with the presets here if you want to. I went through all of them, didn't have an, they didn't have any luck with it. The auto white balance, I didn't have any luck with it as well. Again, I think it's because it's just transferring data from the USB-C through two different uh, connectors into the Xbox. So it's like just the colorings being thrown off in some kind of way. So, you, you know, it's just like I said, it's a caveat. That's why I also said, if you don't have these cables, I probably recommend just go ahead and buying a webcam because you don't have to worry about all that. You can just plug and play. Or if you want, you can buy this $500 webcam that works on the Xbox. Yeah, yeah, the tail air with the AI, it works. My dogs are barking again. All right, other things you can do from the app itself, just so you guys can kind of see and know, is you can mess with ISO and all that right here as well, which is kind of controls your brightness. This might help out with the color as well, and as well as your aperture, which it also messes with the darkness and brightness of the video itself. Rule of thumb is whatever you're running as FPS, just do double. So if you're running at 24, try to put it at 48, but you're more likely gonna be at 50. If you're running at 30, put it at 60. If you're running at 120 for some weird reason, put it at 240 but majority of it, just 30 60 should be fine uh there so just wanted to throw that out there as well you can mess with the other things here like your um focus and all that but again i'm not going through all this i'd rather just let you you guys figure it out and to get these lines and stuff up on the side you see how i can just how i just uh, hit that button and it pops up here and you can kind of control your iso and all that from there as well so there that is. If for some reason you are interested in buying these cables, I am gonna link them below. Why not? This is, you know, way to support the channel. If you want to, appreciate that. If you got value out of the video, then make sure you hit the like button. If you're gonna try this method out for yourself, drop your Twitch name below. I'll see if I can't give you a follow. Maybe some of the other subscribers here or people that are seeing the video might go over there and give you a follow as well. To see more great content, stick around. It'll be coming up soon. The Obsbod Pale Air will be showing how to use on Xbox soon enough. That's gonna be a banger. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.